Happy Monday, Honors World History. So uh, we're, we're about to start a new unit. It's called Absolutism and the French Revolution. The last couple of units that we've looked at, people have been consistently questioning uh, the practices and beliefs of the time period. Uh, it, that could have been religion. That could have been what, uh, what's the right form of government. That could have been science and the stars and all the, all the different things that you can question People were starting to question those things. So um, at the same time, you're going to have some rulers who are going to try to maintain their control, try to regain some of their control over the beliefs of their country. Uh, and so that's going to be really the struggle that you're going to see during this time period. Some people will want control. Everybody wants control. Uh, people want rights. And these rulers also want to maintain their power and control. So how is that going to work out? So today, Monday, you're going to be looking at one of the more famous absolute rulers, uh, Louis XIV. He, uh, he was around for 70 years, so that's a really long time. I believe it's the longest uh, a monarch ruled during that era. Uh, so that's 70 years. That's a long time. So what was he able to do to regain some of his power uh, for the king and the monarchy? And then tomorrow on Tuesday, you're going to be looking at some of the issues that come about during this time period during and after Louis XIV that will eventually lead to the French Revolution. So what are people seeing who aren't the king? Uh, what are they experiencing? What are some of the issues that people are, ha are having with this absolute monarch and the system that they're living in? Okay, all those problems will lead to a revolution and that's what we're going to start next week. Okay, so today you're looking at Louis, tomorrow you're looking at some of those issues that are cropping up in uh, pre-revolution France. Wednesday, I'm gonna host a, a check-in meet where we're gonna do a virtual tour of the Palace of Versailles. So if you've joined me on the, the tour of Florence, it's gonna be a similar tour, except I'm gonna walk you through it a little bit more instead of just clicking around, okay? So uh, if you can't make it to that meet, no worries. I'll give you another option uh, to use your phone to, to do a, a 3D or a 360 virtual tour. So that's another option. And then Thursday, you're going to have a flip grade assignment in Schoology. Okay? So it's going to be a, a fun week, a lot of variety this week, um, learning about some interesting people. And then next week, we'll continue with the actual revolution. People will revolt, and we'll see what that does. Okay? Uh, of course, if you have any questions, if you need to check in with me, uh, just send me an email or uh, send me a message in Schoology. Have a good week. I'll see you soon.